We've decided we have to sell Benito. Um, Julia's pretty heartbroken about it. Just saying goodbye to Benito. Okay, it's, it's uh, time, Julia. It's not time. It's time, Julia. I don't think so. Give me the bunny. No. Nah. Give me the bunny, Julia. I don't think so. Give me the bunny. I mean, isn't isn't something else we can sell? Julia. No, no, You're acting like a child, Julia. No. Give me the bunny. No. Julia. No. Open the door. No. You can't keep Benito forever. One day he will die. He will die, Julia. He could die tomorrow. In your care. Why would you even say that? How would that make you feel, Julia? Fucking terrible. Don't use that language. If we give him to an, a nice home, he might live longer. And be happy. Julia, he's going to a child who is handicapped. I don't believe that. Yeah, he was hit by a truck. He, he can't walk, Julia. This bunny will be the, the only thing he has in his life. Because he doesn't have legs. You better not be lying. I'm not lying. Because I really want him. I know. It's really mean if you're lying. I know. I'll think about it. The handicapped kid needs him, Julia. Here we go. I'm leaving New York and going back home to misery, North Carolina. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Oh, I love a good road trip. I, I haven't taken one in so long. Well, sometimes I tour with my tour bus, um, but I'm going kind of solo this time. I'm gonna do one show uh, back at a club in misery, but that's about it. And um, I think it's gonna be wonderful. I, I haven't performed there in years. Oh, hello, Frito-Lays, hello. I wonder if they're going to misery. I don't know. <laughs> oh, the sun is shining. Come on, get happy. You're gonna chase all your cares away. So hallelujah, come on, get happy. Stay on your side. Stay on your side. Oh, sometimes I can't get happy when people are... Oh. So thankfully, um, Heidi passed summer school after a lot of hard work. And we are now going to start our senior year at Our Lady of the Heavy Heart, and we're so excited. This is our first, um, our first big step on student government. You can see these new recycling bins. We actually, um, we persuaded the school to donate them because um, we care about the environment. Because Leonardo DiCaprio cares about the environment. <laughs> And um, so, so hot. <laughs> I know, right? Oh my God, so yummy. Uh, this is my uh, my art project. Um, it was so good that they agreed to display it in the entire courtyard for the entire school to see. Actually, they didn't really agree to it. I just kind of stuck it out there, and they haven't, you know, told me it's not okay or anything yet. So um, I call her Misha Barton, uh, named after one of my favorite actresses. Um, I would kill to have this figure. I would kill. Like, look at that figure. It's so hot. It is so hot, oh my god. So this is what I'm most proud of so far. We've only been back here a month as seniors and we've already persuaded the faculty to reinstall healthy vending machines instead of the nasty grody stuff with all the fat and the carbs. Mm -hmm. Like look at the choices here. Like you have like, you have bunny grams, you have go-go squeeze. Organic chocolate milk, my it's favorite. Organic, it's all organic, which is so much healthier. And um, it really gives our school a status symbol. It brings us up out of the ranks. Um, I'm so proud of this. So now we're not gonna have any fucking fatties running around. Cause let's face it, that's not aesthetically pleasing to have them <laughs> running around school. I was very disturbed last year to see that many. So I think we're on, on a roll. And by the time prom comes this year, maybe everyone will be really skinny and really 
really hot. More we'll have the hottest prom ever. Choose from. That's right. <laughs> That's really why we were gonna do it. Because some of the football players are really cute, but if they they could stand to lose a few pounds, all they eat is cheeseburgers and like potato chips. Now we give them options. I'm going down to misery. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm thinking of putting that song in my act there. That'd be fun. I made it up myself. You know, you were encouraged when when you worked for M MGM in, 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 in the 40s and the 50s and even the 60s, that was more my time, um, you, you were encouraged to learn everything. So you'd have to learn how to fence, how to sing, how to dance. Um, and I ended up learning how to songwrite a little bit. Um, I used to have parties with Stephen Sondheim and Leonard Bernstein. Oh, he was marvelous. He tried to have sex with me once. I said, Leonard, no, Lenny, <laughs> I don't swing that way. <laughs> Which, you know, in New York, that's, uh, you just, uh, you, you get pro propositioned an, an awful lot. It's, it's, a, it's quite fascinating, you know. I mean, I, I dabbled. Who am I kidding? I'm, I was a little wild. <laughs> I had sex with Sal Mineo. He was wonderful. Then Montgo Montgomery Clift, and he, he was even better. He cried after he ejaculated, though. That was strange. found something when I was at the supermarket uh, the other day. This is a, a flyer for a casting call. Um, it just says, uh, uh, low budget independent film seeking um, all types for multiple roles, um, adults only, which I don't think is a bad thing. I, th I think it must just, must just be a film with a lot of adult themes. Age should not be a concern. I have a few fake birth certificates that I pulled out that time when we were working on that student film. They made you go over hours when you were um, Ten. So I guess we can go down there and see what they have to offer. It can't hurt. Yeah. Um, you know, just see what they have. It's better than birthday parties for now. It's been a long time since we've had a professional gig, so I want to make sure you're well rehearsed. Um, I'm going to try to fix something for dinner. I'm, I'm not sure what, since there's nothing here. Um, maybe Donna will pick up something on the, the, her way back from work. So Frank Jr. and Frank Jr. Jr. decided to um, elope in their homosexual love um, something or other, I don't understand it personally, um, leaving us with um, no act. Um, truthfully, Julia cannot support the act by herself, therefore we are not getting as many offers to do birthday par parties and private engagements. Um, as you can see, um, there is not much here to eat. Um, we've had this for about a month. This is not going to... Um, so they're not going to feed three mouths. So we're hoping to find something um, that will uh, start to pay the bills because truthfully, um, we have had water in, in two days. It's starting to smell. I got a shit with stars on it now. Oh, oh, I think I see the sign. Misery city limits, here I come. I've been driving for... Ten hours, ten marvelous but tiring hours of eating Popeyes and Arby's. I'm not used to that sort of cuisine. <laughs> it's uh, been a rough few days ever since I discovered Lorraine and Bubba. I've just kind of uh, been on my on my own and uh, haven't really been able to talk to either one of them. Uh, kind of been keeping to myself, going on real long walks and stuff. Uh, trying to just work up, you know, to actually talking to them about what I know. And I hope that they, um, I, I don't know what to do. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. I am thankful that for the first time in my career here at Our Lady of the Heavy Heart, they have listened to my concerns regarding um, a Miss uh, Tamara Johnson, or as she likes to be known in her feminist brawl burning lesbian circles, Sister Pussy Willow. <laughs> and uh, they've done away with her and uh, gave her the boot so that she can no longer spread her evil demonic ways to our children. She was teaching them yoga, which... Um, as we all know, leads to a variety of, um, of evil deeds. Um, and it's not something that should be taught to our children. It is not. 
Thank you, Principal Roberts. So, um, it turns out that um, someone alerted um, Principal Roberts that I was teaching yoga in my gym class. And this um, apparently was cause for concern for someone, I don't know why. It's, um, it's a wonderful exercise for the children. They really seem to enjoy it. And um, so I have been let go. And um, it, it, it hurts me that um, they thought I was trying to harm the children because I, I never wanted to do that. I wanted to help them, really. Um, that's why I'm, I'm here, I like to help people. And um, apparently someone said it was demonic. As we all know, yoga did not originate here in America. It originated in um, uh, the country of Islam. And um, we know how that goes because they're terrorists. Do you know what yoga is used for? They warm up to become terrorists by using yoga. They center the mind and the body and brainwash people into thinking, kill Americans, kill Americans, go on their planes, kill them. That's what people do in yoga classes. And that's what she was trying to teach. She is a terrorist. She is an American terrorist. So good riddance, good riddance to, to Sister Pussy Willow. <laughs> so I've been fired, but it's all right because I have the love of the goddess with me and she will guide me because she guides me everywhere in life and it's not a problem because I can find work. This is not the end. It's not. It hurts. It hurts to not feel wanted anymore. But these children will be in my heart. And I hope that this administration will recover from whatever brainwashing has gone into it to make it so anti-love. That's all I'm trying to do is bring love to these children. But I'm going to go out with dignity. Oh, it is so good to be back here. You know, I haven't been back here since the premiere of my first film. They, um, they decided because they thought I was going to be the breakout star. MGM paid to have everyone flown in here to misery and we, and we watched at, 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 at the old Lamar Theater downtown. And oh, it was lovely, star-studded, star-studded. And, and all my friends and family came in and the best part was, I'm, I'm not a very vindictive person, but um, all of, of the people who were mean to me in high school came and they said, oh, we were best friends with Nipsey, best friends. And I said, oh, no, you were not. No, you were not, stop lying. It was hilarious. What a horribly unprofessional, pathetic operation this is. Um, I, hope they, I hope they're not this or, uh, disorganized when we're actually on the shoot. Yeah. Okay, name, Julia Mancini. Okay. Easy, that's the easy part. Um, age? Uh, the, the we're gonna say that you are 18. Special talents, singing, dancing, <laughs> um, horseback riding. Oh, well, I don't like horses. Well, you do now, sweetie. Okay. Okay, what is this? Um, oral. Uh, I guess, speaking. does that mean, do you speak? Yeah, uh, yes, obviously. she speaks. <laughs> I'm good at that. <laughs> Clearly. Um, anal? Not particularly. No. I don't think you're very anal. No, you're very easy, easy to work with. Yeah. Easy to work with. So we're not going to check that one. X that out. Um, fisting. We do not support violence. Um, we do not. So that's a that is an X. No fighting. Uh, no fighting. You have to be certified for that. Mm. Um, water sports. Oh, that yeah. sounds like fun. Like rifting. Type? I guess it must be like some sort of maybe like a lot like a like a summer camp adventure. Oh Wouldn't that yeah. Be fun? I'm good at that kind of oh, stuff. we're gonna sure. check that one. We're gonna check it a few times. It's kind of random. It's really odd, isn't it? Really odd. You checked water sports, but you didn't check any of the other ones. I don't think they're gonna hire you at all. Well, I'm surprised they would hire you if you checked anal. I mean, who wants to work with someone who's anal? <laughs> My last partner told me I did it better than anybody. Well, I can assume you or two are no longer together. Well, like, anal bothers you.
anal genuinely gets under your skin, no pun intended, of course, but you're willing to piss on your daughter on the first day? Beg your pardon. Well, it, it asks water sport? Like, what What goes through your mind? Like, wh like what an adventure, right? <laughs> Wait, you, you have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay. Oral, what do you think they're asking you? I figure, um, it, is it a speaking part? Does she get to speak? <laughs> Anal, I, okay. Fisting, what else could there possibly be? We do not support fisticuffs or any violence of any no. sort. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll save you a big deal of trouble. They're asking you about Julia, we're, we're leaving. Why? What's going on? Come Frank? On. Do you know what kind of a film this is? Um, yeah, like, like we talked about the water adventure kind of movie. No, th this is, this is a, an adult film. And these people are getting paid to take off their clothes and Adults only. I don't care. Adult films. Thank you, Tucker. We can go back to doing kids' parties. I know the market's been rough. It's the recession. People yeah. aren't hiring entertainers for their kids' parties. But it'll pick, it'll pick, pick, pick back up again. And this is not. This, we don't have to resort to this. We are not. We are not these kinds of people if we don't do this. I mean, how much does it pay? It's the stigma, Julia. It's the stigma. We can't. Who's gonna hire us for their kids' birthday party if we've been if we've been in a, in a dirt? We can't get hired for those birthday parties anyway. I mean, I mean, come on. I mean, I'm sure there's a, a walk-around part that, you know, you don't have to show nudity or anything. I'll just take clothes on. Numbers 28 through 40, please come with me. I'm taking to meet the director and the casting director. I think that's our number. Oh, what? yeah, 36 is me. Do you really want to do this? I mean, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I, I, we'll figure it out. Um, I'll just audition. Right? Can't hurt. You come in sweet tits. In a minute! <sighs> Sorry. Okay. All right, take your time, princess. She's coming! Let me go. Okay, go. Me go. Oh, and don't forget to tell them you sing and dance, okay? Oh, and you can do an English accent. Actually, I'll come with you. You, stay here. All right, I just won't. I'm... Well, this is going into my old neighborhood, I think, and it's a little scary already. <laughs> There's a lot of African Americans. You know, back in the day, we called them Negroes. Oh. Oh, they're carjacking that man. Oh, no. Oh, but this is fascinating. I cannot look away. Well, I'm trying to find my old neighborhood. Um, it looks like I've just found the hood. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there's a character there. I'm sure he's up to no good. <laughs> oh, dear. That used to be a library, which is called the Northside Library. Now it's Charles R. Tisdale branch of the li I don't know who that is. That's, I guess I've been gone a long time. Oh, well, he's going in to read. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Never judge a book by its cover. That's, that, that's the lesson here. <laughs> Oh, there was my old elementary school. I wonder how that's turned out. How lovely. How lovely. Oh, that's nice. Oh, there's trailers in the back. That's never a good sign of... Oh, oh dear. Oh, this is just really gone downhill. <laughs> this, is, this used to be a lovely neighborhood. Now I just don't recognize anybody. Oh, dear. Oh, this is just not, not, not what I had expected. <laughs> this is actually rather frightening. <laughs> I don't feel like I belong here. <laughs> what did they do to Sue Ann's home? Oh, it's blue. Oh, that is a frightening shade of blue. What is, I wonder if Sue Ann still lives there. I, I can't see her actually making that sort of an aesthetic choice. I think we're in the ghetto. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, there's a city trends. Yes, we are in the ghetto. We are in the ghetto. Yes. 
Well, this wasn't how I pictured it ending up. Who, said this, who says this is the end? I mean, we've had, like you said, we've had our setbacks, but... Oh, Donna, even it... Even I have to finally admit, I think it's... I think it's finally over. I saw my psychic the other day. Oh, great. Great. And she said that there was going to be a big change, and it was going to change the entire course of my life. My whole life has been this, this one dream, and now I can just, I can see it just getting further away. I, we tried everything. Everything happens for a reason. That's such a cliche, but boy, is it true. Ugh. So what? Julia gets a walk on in a dirty movie. You know, there, there are worse things that could happen. You know, maybe, maybe this is the sign. Maybe we could, I don't know, get, go somewhere where there's a, a better school system for Julia, maybe some, some nice people, a little, little house by the sea. I thought you'd get seasick. I could take a few Dremamine. Do, do you really mean it? There's no shame in settling down, I guess. I mean, everyone else seems to do it. I, be normal. You wanna marry me or something? You'll give this whole thing up. This whole show business thing up. Why not? There, there are more important things in life. God, I'm just so happy. This is the happiest day of my life. I thought meeting Bon Jovi was gonna be the happiest, but this has surpassed that. Is that a yes? Oh my God, this is the happiest day of my life. This is, oh my God, baby, <laughs> Okay. I got, I got a walk on fire. Let's start on Monday. Monday? Yeah. Well, that's just shaping up to be a pretty hey. good day. Hey! Um, hey! I would like for you to say hello to your new stepmother. It's official now. It's Facebook oh official, honey. It's Facebook official. It's Facebook official. <laughs> we are going to be a real happy family from now on. We are. Yeah. And... I think we I'll should go celebrate. Day. We should celebrate. I'll pray for this night. But make sure to wash your hands first because this place is disgusting. I don't know what to do. It's nasty. Right. Oh, how lovely. That's where Lainey Robbins used to live. She, she was my, um, my preschool sweetheart. She was, uh, she, you know, I wonder if she still lives there. I'm going to go up and see. Well, she died. <laughs> Mrs. Gooch used to live there. Oh, she made the best homemade pecan pralines. I believe that was where Luke Walker used to live, I believe. He was, he was a troublemaker. He would, um, he always got in trouble at school and, oh, bless his heart. I think he died in a motorcycle accident, actually. Uh, you know, he was trying to be like, you know, James Dean or something, I don't know. I think they were part of some cult here, of like a James Dean enthusiast who just decided to leap off of like a bridge on a bunch of motorcycles. I think it made at least the local news. Now right here, Doris Rickle used to li li live here and she took care of her father um, while he was on his deathbed for 20 years. He died on and on and on. Ugh, re remind me never to die that long. It's just horribly inconvenient for your loved ones. <laughs> oh, they remodeled this place. They remodeled it. It used to be much different, much different. Um, basketball court was, was, was not there. That was not there. This was not there. This was, this was, uh, this was my home. This was my home. Oh. It looks good, though. It looks good. Oh, God. Oh. My, my, my father used to work so hard on, on the grass, he would just, Spend all Saturday do that, and mother would do the 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 garden, and and my my brother Earl would um, stand up in the treehouse that we used to have back then, and and we'd play play games. I I think that's what made me want to become a uh, a performer. You know, I always I'd always put on shows for them, and Earl's gone now. I think we haven't. Uh, spoken in many years, but I, I believe he, he's passed on. 
I couldn't be there for my my mother and father to uh, help them when they were at death's door. Just makes you think about those kinds, kind, kinds of things. I'd, I've seen what I needed to see. At least they didn't paint this some sort of awful shade of pink like a strip club. <laughs> oh, thank the Lord. It's a nice night out tonight. A little cold, though. You all right? Your, your larynx sounds like it might be a little swollen. I got some holes in my, my mandolin case. In case you didn't notice, I'm not talking to you. Well, it was pretty clear from the start. This cannot happen again. And I cannot believe that after all this time you continue to make the same mistakes. And this is why our band broke up in the first place, Bubba. Because of you and your unnatural attraction to my wife. Listen, Dick, um, I, I know I haven't been the best, best person towards you. I know I've done you wrong, and um, I just want to apologize about that, maybe shed some light on as to why. Oh, I think I know why. It's because you are a textbook narcissist. I took a few community college classes for a little while. I didn't know they had classes on that sort of subject, but yeah, yes. It, I, I can't deny that. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit vain sometimes, but I think that's just the price you pay with fame, and uh, it's, a, it's a destructive monster, and I'm not quite sure how to tame her. Why, Lorraine, of all the people that you could get involved with, why, why my wife? Dick, your wife's fucking gorgeous. Well, I know that. No, I'm seriously, like, holy shit. How, how did you manage that? I'm not gonna dignify that with a response. I think the biggest reason why I violated the sanction of your marriage um, was because, you know, I, I myself don't have a family. You know, I'm just sick and tired of Swallowing my sorrow with Korean hookers and blow, which really only makes it worse. Sometimes. Sometimes it's quite nice. You know, I look at you and and your life and what you have. And I, I'm, 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 I'd be lying if I weren't envious, but I, I also just really respect you. And uh, just wanted to taste what I was missing. And I, I, I look up to you in that sense. And I'm, I'm sorry I did you wrong because it wasn't fair and it wasn't right. I think we should just leave this as it is. I'm trying to be, I am trying to be a, a, a good, forgiving person, Bubba, and I don't need the negativity in my life, so I'm gonna forgive you. But, but this is it. I cannot see you anymore. That's fair. That's absolutely fair. Let's just think about the good times that we had, Bubba. We had some good ones. Remember when we built that fort in the woods and then, as a joke, while I was up on the second level, you started setting it on fire, started rising up, and oh, look out for the flames. On The fire marshal came by and said, what the hell are you kids doing out here in the woods making fire? Then we lit him on fire, and he had a good laugh about that as well. Some good times. Yeah. It's good times. Let's just... Let's just keep those memories and uh, forget about all the bad ones. I think that would be best. Like Dorothy has said, time to hit that yellow brick road. Good luck. You too, Dick. I like your shirt. You can't keep that too. I like your shirt.
Well, time to walk down the slippery path to Newton. But, you know, like they say, when you gotta throw in the towel, you gotta throw in the towel, and damn it, if I didn't throw in that towel, I don't know what I'd do. It's time to move on. Time to find a new family. Somebody who can appreciate my stardom, my pizzazz, the glitter that comes out of the tip of my tongue when I, the cusp of my mouth when those lyrics leave graciously into the audience's ears. It's tough, you know, it's, it's, it's tough being me. But you know, there's a family out there for me. Just like there's a family out there for you. And you, and you, well, well maybe not that guy. Weird looking, I think he's looking over here.